The House That Jack Built, which is a new film by Lars von Trier, who you'll remember um, said some really stupid things at the Cannes Film Festival many years ago. He was declared persona non grata. Um, now he came back to the Cannes Film Festival with The House That Jack Built, um, which caused outrage, outrage at Cannes. People walking out of the screening. How dare he? It's terrible. It's awful. Um, which is a thing that happens at Cannes. Never, ever trust any Cannes screening reaction, okay? Because people, when they're at Cannes, they're senses have just turned to mush because it's not conducive for you know for good film criticism anyway so uh matt dillon is a serial killer who is recounting his story to an unseen companion called verge and they are on a journey in darkness so at the beginning there are two characters in darkness telling a story on a journey you, you know you don't have to be a genius to fill in what's going on um so he's telling his story to somebody which obviously echoes the format of uh, nymphomaniac volumes one and two he says that he will tell his story via five incidents which are a series of murders and predominantly murders of women he murders a woman with a whose, whose car is broken down and she's got a broken jack and his name is jack broken jack um, he strangles uh, a woman in her home. There's a mother and kids that he hunts, which is a sequence which caused particular outrage. There is uh, another woman played by Riley Keough who he assaults hideously. And in between, we hear his views on architecture versus engineering. He's been designing and building and destroying and redesigning and building a house for years and years and years, but it never lives up to his OCD expectations. And the murders themselves seem to be some kind of byproduct of his OCD tendencies because he actually appears more interested in cleaning up afterwards than in the things themselves because they, they're all pre presented in a sort of weirdly distanced, dispassionate, ironic, sardonic, nasty kind of way. Now, you can read the film as a, an ironic commentary on Lars's own provocative career and in fact at one moment there's this kind of montage of the horrors of, of of human existence which uses a number of clips from Lars von Trier's films which is sort of which is very very Lars um it also like so many of his movies it exists in an explicitly theological universe I mean you go back to Breaking the Waves which ends with the bells ringing in heaven and this provides the counterpoint to that but von Trier himself whenever he's doing you know religion or you know nature is Satan's church in Antichrist and all that stuff it's always I'm sorry Lars I can't hear you talking because your tongue is so firmly in your in, in your cheek um i can see why it is that some people took against it i mean there is real nastiness in there there is violence that is reminiscent of the stuff that's in new york ripper there is a moment when his companion verge says children the most sensitive of all subjects as if von Trier is saying look i'm about to provoke you with the most sensitive of all subjects there is also a duckling scene which incidentally the end of the film no animals were harmed it was something that was reproduced but i think when people saw it at can they didn't quite understand that and it is a comedy in the sense of you know the really yeah, in the sense of the divine comedy, it is a film which, which, as with all of Von Trier's stuff, how seriously it takes itself remains absolutely a matter of opinion. And there are certainly, although I know it sounds absurd, and I know that you're not a fan of, of Von Trier, there are certainly moments in it which provoke dark chuckles. And the whole film has a comedic, absurdist, ridiculous, as I said, living in this explicitly theological universe and saying, well, if, if, okay, if that's what it's like, then why don't we try this? The weird thing about it is, I mean, I'm di very divided about it. It's, I, there's some Von Trier films I've really liked. I really liked Melancholia. I, I, I really liked Antichrist. I really hated Breaking the Waves. I really hated The Idiots. And when the walkouts happened in Cannes, Von Trier said, well, I'm not sure that they hated it enough when they, people walked out of the house that Jack built. And it reminded me of something that he had said to me when I said to him, I, I hate the idiots. And he said, that's fine as long as you really hate it. So he is a, 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 an agent provocateur that is what he does. But there is something very perverse about the fact that having spent a career making movies about the suffering of women that see the world from, from you know through the eyes of women characters who suffer, often quite terribly, you look at a movie like Dogville, that now he's made a movie that's seen solely through the eyes of to, in his words, an evil man. And it's very it's a very von Trier thing to do. Again, whether it was deliberate, you know, the question of how deliberate anything is in von Trier's uh, back catalogue is always up for grabs, which means that consequently, whenever I watch his films, I always watch them with a sense of removal because I don't actually take anything that he does that seriously, certainly not seriously enough to be offended by it. So my feeling is there are things in um, uh, The House That Jack Built, as with all Von Trier's films, that are uh, arresting and startling. There are things in it that are nasty and uh, mean-spirited and vile. It is a film about misogyny that flags up misogyny, but also to some extent wallows in misogyny. 
I'm not on board with the let's walk out. It's the most disgusting thing ever. But I'm also not on board with the, the now the, the counter swipe to that, which is that it's a work of genius. It isn't. It's it's. It's a, it's one of those sort of mid-range Von Trier films. I, I I have liked films of his much more. I have liked films of his much less. Certainly don't go and see it if you're in the slightest bit squeamish because although for most of the, of the film it is a kind of very abstract meditation on things, it, it's also... He's not above shock exploitation. He's not above being crass. He's not above button pushing, uh, you know, to, 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 to get a response. Um... It's you know there are there are things in it that reminded me of the the, the sculptures of Jake and Dinos Chapman and there are things in it that actually did make me laugh and there and there are other things in it that make you go oh Lars. <laughs>